यश्वसी वेद यो वेदेभ्यो खिल जगत निर्मेतम वंदे विद्यातीमहेशर यभावतुल भगवान्न तो ब्रह्माश्च नि वक्तुमल बल च सा चंदिका खिल जगत परिपालनाय नाशा चाशुभ भय से मतिं करो तो अयंकारहस्युक्त श्रींकार गुढ़ाथ महाविभूत ओंकार मर्म प्रतिदनीभ्या नमो नम श्री गुरुपादुकाभ्या काले वर्षत पर्जन्य It's a beautiful occasion today when, in the context of creating heaven on earth, we are going to glorify the organizing power. of mother divine we are go- going to invoke we are going to enliven the infinite organizing power of sanghita pure knowledge the ved the actual ingredient of the entire creation we are going going to glorify the devata tattva the active principle in nature in order that all positivity should grow you replacing any negativity on earth creation of heaven on earth is in terms of transformation of values from what is unwanted to what is desired we want to put out all negativity in in the world replace it with all positivity this devata element of creation this principle of action in the universe mother divine durga durga amba we call durga amba mother durga the creative intelligence of the whole universe present everywhere and promoting everything always in the direction of evolution durga amba madha durga in the previous days we have glorified mahalakshmi maha saraswati and today we will adore madha durga 
The name Durga is from Durg. Durg is a fort, a fort where everything is secured, where the capital of the entire territory is kept secured, self-sufficient in its own value. So Durga is the dweller of the Durg, the indweller of the fort, so that the entire territory of the universe, the entire territory of intelligence may be completely safe and secured completely self-sufficient and always in the self-referral dynamism which requires no doing and which requires the fulfillment of all possibilities without doing we call it, from the scientific platform, we call it least doing, zero point motion, principle of least action, principle of least action. Physics, the study of the whole physical creation, calls it the principle of least action where there is no exertion and where only the ways of bliss, ways of fulfillment, ways of achievement, instant achievement of the goal without a path. This is the performance of by the Durga, the dweller of the fort. Nothing else can reach her. It's that indomitable, invincible, unbounded, eternal, immortal force of life, which on its own is singularity in its infinite dynamism. In this picture of Mother Duga, we have all possibility lively in that we have infinity in a point universe, the entire manifest universe, in the unmanifest field of intelligence, the unified field of intelligence. The source, course and goal of all life, indicated by a very meaningful and purposeful word, Durga the dweller of the fort. This is infinite organizing power of Mother Nature, infinite organizing power of pure knowledge in which all the knower, knowing and known are unified. That, that element in creation which is manifest and unmanifest, seated in the junction point of manifest and unmanifest. We have been talking previously on this Anyonya Bhav 
And in this consideration of the basic organizing power of nature's intelligence, we find it seated in the junction point of manifest and unmanifest, manifest and unmanifest. It is one, at the same time two. It is this and that. It is manifest and unmanifest, both at the same time. The embodiment of all possibilities. Embodiment of all possibilities. It's due to this organizing power, infinite organizing power of, of nature's intelligence, that we have the field effect. Field effect means whatever is in one place, that is in every place. This is the field effect. Whatever is in one place is spread throughout the length and breadth of the unbounded universe. Field effect, the infinite correlation value. On that level, everything is infinitely correlated with everything else, and this is the character of mother. In the mother at home, all the various tendencies and all the activities and all characters, they all meet profoundly uh, in one quiet, silent level of intelligence, the intelligence of mother. Mother Dugga, the intelligence of the entire unbounded universe quietly, fully awake in its infinite dignity, anyunyabhav. It is this and this also, this and this also, this, this and this also. Like the situation of the sap in a, in, in a rose, the sap is this also, this also, this also, this also. It's green also, it's yellow also, it's, it's flat also, it's round also. It's tender petal also, it's thorn also. All the infinitely diversified values in the ever-expanding universe, that is one element present everywhere, is the girl. The fort, where is the fort? The fort is is known to be invincible from everywhere, so well protected with thick walls, with thick walls. What are the thick walls in which Mother Durga live? The thick walls are the environment of the manifest in the reality of the unmanifest. Man unmanifest and manifest, both where they both meet, there is the dweller of the, of the fort. The administrator of the universe is in that environment. She has her own cocoon. And what make the boundaries of the cocoon? The unbounded manifest and unbounded unmanifest. So it's, it's actually the infinite correlation, what we say, infinite correlation, embodiment. Embodiment of the infinite correlation, that is the sum total of the whole mechanics of transformation in the whole universe. It's that which is manifest, it's that which is always unmanifest. The junction point of the manifest and unmanifest, it's a point everywhere evenly spread everywhere. And on the basis of that, all manifestations of the unmanifest, all mechanics, all dynamics of evolution, they just continue and continue. But where they continue? They continue in the self-referral state of that infinite, unbounded, eternal intelligence, self-referral. Always in her own status. And the status is 
infinite correlation. Present everywhere, capable of performing all the things at all times throughout creation on a level where it is zero point motion, where it's duality in absolute unity, anunya bhav, anunya bhav. It's this and that also. It's intelligence and energy also. It's unmanifest and manifest also. Everywhere throughout creation, all the time, eternally immortal, self-referral, completely self-sufficient, invincible, that is the element of Dugga, Maha Dugga, Mother Divine, Dugga Amba, Mother Dugga. Just the name and liveness that characteristic in our consciousness, the whole intelligence of ours on the individual level gets unified with the intelligence of the whole cosmos. This is communication of, with the unbounded, self-interacting, invincible element of Dugamba, Mother Dugga. The way Durga is so beautiful, Durga means that which is present in the Durg. Durg is the fort. One is in the fort. Remaining always there at every point in creation and in the holistic value of the creation, totality. Same Mother Divine everywhere. The source, course and goal of all streams of knowledge. All streams of knowledge in the unified wholeness of the ocean of knowledge. Pure intelligence, Saraswati, functioning belongs to Dugamba, functioning belongs to Dugamba. When we are considering Dugamba in the, un, in the one unbounded ocean of consciousness, we find the intelligence value which is awake for its unboundedness and fully wakeful for its point value, the collapse of infinity onto its own point, this collapse of infinity on its own point is the character of Dugamba. Dugamba Paramba, the organizing power, the organizing power of self-sufficient field of intelligence, the organizing power, lively in Saraswati, lively in Mahalakshmi, Durga, but always remaining within its own cocoon, within our own cocoon. Cocoon, not made of time and space boundaries, but cocoon of the unbounded field of para, that's a cocoon. It's a cocoon, but it's a, it's a transparent cocoon with unbounded boundaries. That may choose to be a cocoon in space and time, but nevertheless, it's her choice. Her reality is always full, full wakefulness in the unbounded, eternal, self-sufficient invincibility. Invoking that element of Dugamba in our own awareness, in our own memory, in our own feelings, means taking the individuality to be in par with unbounded universality, completely quiet in its self-sufficiency, but in full dynamism of its self-sufficiency. That is why it commands over the entire field of all possibilities extending to infinity and 
available at the point value also, Dugga Amba. Dugga characterizes what we know to be Sanjita, unifiedness, unified wholeness. It's the Sanjita that is always within itself, always lively in the meeting point. That's why commanding both sides. Commanding manifest and unmanifest. Dugga. And one, one little impulse of the name thrills the entire field of intelligence and then connects the individual with the cosmos. This is how, through our finest emotions, we communicate, we come in perfect alliance with that infinite organizing power of nature, which is always fully awake, always putting everything and everyone on the path of evolution, growing more and more and more and more. This is the organizing power of the ultimate, absolute level of intelligence. Mother Duga. Why we want to communicate? Because that one thing held in our consciousness, that one element held in our consciousness, that one quality of consciousness awake in our awareness. Whatever thought will be instantly fulfilled. That is the reason why we adore Dugamba. We invoke in our consciousness Dugamba in order that every thought of ours emerge from that fully self-sufficient, all-powerful, invincible force which will perform our thinking, our planning, our desire in a way that everything is available to us in a way we want it. It's a very great science of action. It's a very great science, supreme science of performance. It's a science of action. How to act, be fully awake in the quality of the Gamba, in the quality of the organizing power of nature. It is that force which is organizing the infinite diversity of the universe with perfect orderliness based on the principle of least action. Principle of least action. The action hits directly to the goal to such an extent that the starting point of action and the ending point of action, reaching the goal, has no distance because in every point of that infinite organizing power is contained the entire field of space and time, the whole universe. The whole manifest universe is contained within a point of that self-sufficient, fully awake, eternal, immortal field of infinite possibilities, field of all possibilities. So the whole space and time of the universe unbounded is already contained within a point and therefore there is no distance 
when we are on that level of awareness, when we have in our, aware, in our consciousness the lively field of all possibilities, Dugamba, awake in our consciousness, in every point of that consciousness, the entire universe is there. Millions of light years of distances in space and in the entire space is already contained within a point. And therefore, the thought and the goal, they are no distant. The goal is there where the thought is. This is the dignity, the grandeur, the display of Mother Divine. All possibilities lively at the point of our thought emergence. Emergence of the thought, pure wakefulness of the infinite correlation value of the nature of Dugamba. And when that is lively in our consciousness, space and time, distances don't obstruct the goal being reached by the starting point of the path. The goal and the path and the starting point is all there in that awareness which is awake in the quality of Dugamba. Unmanifest, fully awake within itself. From here comes the skill in action. When we want to do something, how to do it? Take your awareness to be fully self-referral. And there you think. And there you create the goal of thinking. You create what you desire. This is skill in action. This is skill in action. This is skill in action. Lord Krishna, the Brahman, the totality, absolute totality. Has given us the technique, the skill of successful action. On that level, which physics knows to be the principle of least action. Principle of least action. And what is that principle of least action? Let your awareness be itself. Don't move. Be where you are. Just be awake in yourself. And in that self referral consciousness, what you have is Dugamba, the infinite organizing power of the universe. Infinite organizing power. Infinite organizing power. Fully awake. Let your awareness be awake on that level of intelligence which is the home of Dugamba. You enter the home and you bask in the warmth of the reality of the home. Let your awareness be completely surrendered. This is a very beautiful word. It's completely surrendered to Dugamba, the infinite organizing power of Mother Divine. And then from there, you command all the laws of nature. Get what you want. This is Vedic action. This is the gift of Vedic science. My Vedic science offers this to everyone. 
and offers this to everyone means offers command over the infinite organizing power of nature, gives him expertise in handling infinite organizing power, infinite creative power, that intelligence which is at the basis of this, that and everything. Perform from there. And your performance will mean think, desire, ichha shakti, ichha shakti. And this desiring is a natural process. One doesn't have to exert for desiring. Eh? One doesn't have to strain for desiring. Innocently, most innocently, most inactively, but fully awake in that level of intelligence, whatever the desire. And the desiring process is an automatic phenomenon. What is the desire on that level? How the desire and how the desiring is structured on that level of eternal silence and eternal dynamism in the midst of both? How? What is it? It is the flow of the Veda, hymns of the Veda. The desiring of Mother Divine is displayed in the sequentially growing impulses of the primordial sound, the Veda, the rituals of the Veda, the mantras of the Vedas. This flow, this is spontaneity of the eternal process of desiring from that self-sufficient self-interacting dynamics of the infinitely in, invincible quality of Mother Divine, Turgamba. So the technique of performance is perform from here. Perform from this level of your own intelligence, where the intelligence is Self-referral, from that self-referral level of intelligence, desire, and that desiring is enough of performance. The desiring from the self-interacting dynamics, hmm? desiring from that level of self-interacting dynamics of Mother Divine, of the Gamba. Hmm? It's a natural feeling which flows into the process of evolution of sound, speech, Veda. And expresses itself in the meaning of the sound, the meaning of the sound, the meaning of speech. This is one more step of evolution of that self-interacting dynamics of nature's intelligence. Sound is form. This is how the waves, the impulses turn into forms and different forms. So it's the Veda in which Dugamba, Paramba has her own eternal self-interacting dynamics of intelligence. And stationed on that level, our individual awareness spontaneously flows in that impulse 
of the primordial sound, the unmanifest sound, the most refined expression, the first expression in the non-expressed absolute state of intelligence. And every impulse there had the totality of the whole universe. It's like, you know, for example, you have the, a seed, a seed. You properly glorify the seed. Huh? Underground, you put it underground in some earth and some things, in some water, something. I create an environment where all the, the concentrated fibers which structure the seed, they begin, to, each fiber begins to swell up, swell up. And when each fiber is separated from its holistic structure, and then suddenly a sprouting star, sprouting star. At every level of the sprout, all the fibers have their participation. The totality is participating in the sprouting. And at every step of its growth, the totality is involved at every step of the growth. This is why. This is just an example to show how thinking from that level of the self-directing dynamics of intelligence the total potential of natural law comes to design the impulse. That means the style of expression, the system of expression, the total potential of natural law. All the laws of nature together, all the laws of nature together, compactified in that self-interacting dynamics, in that Sangita level of, uh, of Paramba, it begins to move within itself. This is what is self-interacting dynamics of intelligence, self-interacting dynamics. The seed interacts within itself. So all the fibers, innumerable fibers of the seed that structure the seed and keep it in its self-contained structure, they begin to swell. There is a self-interacting dynamics of all the fibers of the seed, and functioning within themselves, they begin to expand. And the first expression of expansion is the sprouting of a seed. The sprouting of a seed, we, 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 we uh, understand in terms of thinking process, we think. How the thought arises is the expression of Mother Divine on its own level. The infinite organizing power of nature functioning on its own level. And here is the excitement or inspiration to all the laws of nature to start creating. All the laws of nature are engaged at every moment in the reverberation of this natural self-interacting dynamics of infinite creativity, infinite creativity. So the technique for performance, the technique for successful action, the technique for action is invoke or make lively in your consciousness or take your consciousness to that level where the consciousness is completely self-referral. And this level of consciousness is in terms of Dugamba. It is Dugamba 
it is Mata Saraswati, it is Mahalakshmi, Paramba. All the three are there in their holistic value, depending on our desire. All the three will promote desire in the direction which we intend, whether the desire requires predominance of the support of Saraswati, or predominance of support from Mahalakshmi, or predominance of, of Dugga. But Dugga is everywhere in order for Saraswati to act. It's in, it's in the, in the uh, nature of Dugamba that Saraswati would display the streams of knowledge and the ocean of pure knowledge will flow and flood in the direction of the desire, of the desired direction. The desire of the devotee, we say, devotee, why? Devotee, consciousness is devoted to that infinite organizing power. So the individual consciousness becomes a devotee and dedication to that means complete merger with that reality. This is what is surrender. Surrendering to Dugamba is a phenomenon of taking our, our awareness to that level of junction where the manifest and unmanifest both values are comprehended. Anyunya bhav, we call it. Anyunya bhav, anyunya bhav. Field of all possibilities, lively field of all possibilities. That is the surrender. And the surrendering process we know, we know from our practice of transcendental meditation. The surrendering process is an automatic uh, uh, system that the grosser impulses of, of, of our feelings, they settle down into finer values and finer values and settling to the finest value and then transcendental value, self-referral intelligence. The field of infinite organizing power, where all invincible power of Mother Dugga is spontaneously available. Spontaneously available means no effort is there, no effort is there, no effort is there. So with whatever desire you have gotten on to that level, that desire gets fulfilled because all the laws of nature rush on to fulfill one feeling of Mother Divine. The entire administration of the whole universe, infinite diverse values, but correlated with some supreme intelligence that spontaneously puts everything in its infinite dynamism, but in the huge unbounded ocean of emptiness, nothingness, silence, infinite silence, with infinite dynamism of infinite characters of different values in the whole universe. And all that present within a point. That point is reached by our process of transcendental meditation, process of transcending. And once the awareness has gone out of the boundaries of space and time, there is that field where zero point motion is possible. Motion is there. But unmanifest motion is there. The thinker is there, huh? but it is unmanifest. The thinking process is there, but it is unmanifest. The goal is there, but it's unmanifest. The path is there, but it's unmanifest. 
The starting point is there, but it's unmanifest. It is in the character of sameness, which is called Dugga, the dweller of the fort. Where is the fort? Fort is that where everything is safe and secured. What is that point? Is the point, meeting point of unmanifest and manifest. There everything is safe because neither the unmanifest is frowning on us nor the manifest is frowning on us. Is the common enriching point of the entire course of the unmanifest and manifest. That's why is Paramba, transcendental mother. It's a mother divine. Radiating that richness and infinite support for everything. This is the most exalted area of my Vedic science. Every single person, most spontaneously, most effortlessly, taking one's awareness to that most desirable field of infinite organizing power, and from there, by mere desiring, accomplish what you want to accomplish. This knowledge, this technology, is the basis of our aspiration, our global aspiration to create heaven on earth. When we got into this level of knowledge, this very simple system of taking our awareness to a field where everything is available. Taking our awareness to a field where everything is spontaneously available, whatever we would want, we will not be required to exert our effort. No, spontaneously available, anything by mere desiring. Only we have to train our awareness to get stationed on that level of reality and enter that value, enter the home of the Gamba with a desire. And she doesn't have to do anything. Her status is that if you are able to contact, you are the custodian of the infinite organizing power and this is the blessing of Mother Divine. One only has to deserve, just reach that level and that is a level where you don't have to ask. It's a level where everything is available, you pick up. You pick up for what you went. 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 What I'm saying is, is born out with the entire sequence of infinite value of cycles of time. Cycles of time, you know. Satyu, Treta, Dwapa, Kalyu. Millions of years of very great time where every life is fully lived in accord with all the laws of nature. And then the time comes when the life starts to be lived in, maybe just for the sake of explaining, we say, maybe 70% of the laws of nature are spontaneously lived in daily life. In the long cycle of time, the situation rises that now the 
only 25% of the total potential of natural law becomes a living reality in, uh, on earth and in heaven, in the whole universe, total potential. And then there comes a time, 25% of natural law. Uh, and there comes a time when you start to go back again in the rising, in the rising scale, from 25 to 50 to 75 to 100, and then the circle comes. This is the eternal circle of time in the infinity of eternity. It is the eternity, it's eternity that keeps on being evaluated in terms of its own cycles. And cycles are what? Cycles of the relationship of point and infinity. Point expands to infinity, infinity expands to point, point expands to infinity, infinity expands to point, and this, this, this expansion and contraction in the field of space and time, this is going on with infinite speed, and this is the dynamism, the infinite organizing power of Mother Divine, which is a natural situation on that level of reality. For us, who are only subjected to limitations, subjected to limitations, for us is the cycle of Satya Yuga, very big, and then, and then Treta, and then Kal Dwapar, and Kali Yuga, and then we say we come down to small, small cycles of, of um, yearly cycles, and, and what, daily cycles, seasonal cycles, and cycles of night and day and uh, so from big huge cycle to small cycle all this is on the basis of the nature of reality Mahaduga is a smallest cycle manifest and unmanifest manifest and unmanifest there is no, nothing no no space and time completely this and that and this and that and then becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger bigger bigger, bigger. That is from our level of understanding, as far as the truth goes. The whole thing is there at all times, with infinite speed. Satyuk Kalyuk Dwapar Teta, Satyuk Kalyuk Dwapar Teta. For Satyuk to turn into Kalyuk, for Kalyuk to turn into Satyuk and all, this is all the time reality, and that is the structure, that is the nature of of the ultimate reality. This is the infinite organizing power, infinite organizing power, that there is no end to it. We can't say only this, or only this, or only this, or only this. This was the starting point of our movement 35 years ago. And we have been on the same path, and the same path, and the same path. Completely automatic communication with the field of all possibilities. Every child knows, if you want something, run to Mother Divine. Run to Mother at home. He just run. He knows nothing other than Mother. If you want to eat something, if you want to stop eating, if you want to run, if you want to do anything, just Mother, and mother, and mother, and mother. This is the display of, <laughs> this is the display of the spontaneous, dynamic program of transcendental meditation to come to that lively field of all possibilities. Spontaneously, the mind is absolutely drawn to be on that field, losing its own identity in the sense that gaining unbounded reality. The space-time mind, the space-time bound mind, getting into the program of transcendental meditation 
comprehending, increasing refinement of the thinking process comes to the source of thought and that source is unbounded field of infinite organizing power the thought gets materialized from there. The system is the same these days, you know, with this, with this thought of, of uh, getting something, even a cup of milk. Now you have a machine, you have to put a coin in that. And the moment coin reaches the, the level, suddenly the gate opens. And what comes is a cup of milk. Only the coin has to reach the point. If the coin doesn't reach the point, the gate doesn't open, one doesn't get the expected glass of milk. But if the, if the coin reaches that level, it hits the gate, immediately the gate opens, and spontaneously the whole mechanics are so set that once the gate is open automatically the milk comes up. That is the procedure, exactly the same thing. In this what happens is the laws of nature on the electronic level perform the whole thing to fulfill the desire of getting the milk. In the case of Mother Divine, it's not one or two or three kind of, uh, of uh, uh, natural law. All possible laws of nature, the whole unified field of all the laws of nature gets stirred. This is unified field. Some one little impulse here is impulse throughout creation. This impulse throughout creation. That is why we say Paramba, you say Mother Dugga is present everywhere, throughout. Omnipresent, omniscient, omnipresent, omniscient. And when the conscious mind hits that level, stress that level. It's a field of all possibilities. Whatever you have ordered, whatever you have ordered is spontaneously supplied to you. You have only to channel your order properly so that it reaches the desk of delivery. <laughs> What you have to do is just simply channel the order and let it reach the desk of delivery and you have it. This is modern system of sub demand and supply. You demand and supply is automatic. They will deliver to your home or wherever you say 12 o'clock send my lunch in that garden on under the tree there and this and this, wherever you order. But only you have to channel the order properly, that's all, you have to channel the order properly. Whatever is your desire, whatever you are desire, the channel is that hold that desire and transcend through that and transcend and transcend and transcend and once you have transcended, the delivery is spontaneous. Because that you feel that all the laws of nature rush on to deliver the, the, the demand. All the laws of nature. The entire general manager and assistant manager and the, uh, all, the, all the lower ranks all simply rush on to the, the kit of an order. What has been demanded? Let's see. Immediately worked out. There are no sequence of organization. There are no sequence of organization, not one after the other, not one after the other, but the total at a time. That is why we say it's a field of all possibilities. It's a field of all possibilities. That is why in India, hail great India, the land of the Veda, that's why in India the theme of performance the theme of action is Yogastha Kuru Karmani. Yogastha 
come to the state of singularity, transcend. And that process of transcending itself is the action of performance, Guru Karmani. You engage in action by getting to the state of singularity. Get to the state of singularity. Get yourself. Be the basis of demand. Be the basis of demand. Who is demanding? Mr. Max is demanding or Mr. Hooks is demanding? Who is demanding? Be the demander. Be yourself. And then this is the process of receiving the desired value. Yogastha Guru Karmani. Once you are yogastha, once you are in a self-referral state, once you are in the transcendental state, once you are in the transcendental state, you are beyond space and time. You are beyond space and time. You are on that level from where spontaneous self-referral dynamism eternally creates the universe, eternal process of creation, of this unbounded infinite diversity is taking place from that level. And therefore, once you are there, you are the commander, if you want to use the word commander, of all the laws of nature, or if you want to be a little bit more humble. You are the mercy of God and the entire will of God is with you, the will of God. What we say on the level of science, the laws of nature, the total potential of natural law, the unified field of natural law, we can completely equate today the scientific age has placed us on a level of a reliable communication with this infinite organizing power of nature, which in the Vedic words we call Dugamba, Saraswati, Mahalakshmi, the different values of intelligence, and in the name of different religions we say God. Whatever the God of any religion, if the name God is significant, it is that unified field of all the laws of nature. The unified field of all the laws of nature. And the way to surrender to God, the way to get realization of God is the process of transcending. You go beyond the space and time, you go to the absolute level from where the creative process is eternally going on, and creating, go, continuously creating the entire field of the ever-going universe. So a very beautiful, a very beautiful, a very beautiful knowledge of the mechanics of performance lies in transcending and thereby spontaneously creating a situation that whatever the thought will get nourished, will get nourished. Now it is in this sense that in every religion there is a, there is a sense of, you know, there is a sense of angels. When you have the description of Mother Divine, 
she is surrounded by angels and once you are in, uh, on that uh, uh, on that uh, courtyard the angels will do things for you this is spontaneity of of fulfillment of action it has been it has been presented for the for the human beings to identify themselves with someone some agency who is going to carry out my desire who will fulfill the desire so the description of mother divine durga throughout the vedic literature is there she is surrounded with all the agencies that simply means all the laws of nature once you are in that level in that level means the level of the unified field once the awareness is open to that level then all the laws of nature are there that means you are served with all kinds of angels all kinds of all innumerable values of devata in that rishi devata and chandas uh, perspective of sangita sangita is rishi devata and chandas in that perspective the devata element is the innumerable organizing abilities which on the, in the scientific level we say laws of nature different laws of nature different values of the impulses they are just the values of the impulses which create the primordial sound the sound of the veda those impulses of the vedic sounds those impulses of the vedic sounds those impulses of the vedic sounds that are always there lively in their non changing character and their sequence of flow and the eternal sequence of flow all that is recorded by those who experienced that reality of the self interacting dynamics of intelligence in nature within their own settled state of consciousness they are the seers the seer who is a seer seer is also a quality of consciousness seer is also a quality of sangita and seer in the process of seeing that dynamism is the element of devata so it is in the structure of the sangita is the structure of pure singularity that is because it is fully awake it is it has the characteristic or it has the quality of the of the seer and in the seer the process of seeing is the dynamism which is called devata and once the dynamism is there silence gets shadowed when the silence is open to our awareness dynamism gets shadowed once the the seeing part of it the recognition part of it becomes more predominant in our awareness sangita value gets shadowed so this shadowing quality is again an eternal quality of consciousness so we have rishi value devata value chandas value in the devata value in the dynamism devata value we have these this dugamba is so beautifully laid out for our intellect to comprehend and for our being to get soaked into that reality for our individuality to get into that cosmic design where we are expert in designing anything in working out anything with this knowledge at hand we thought let's create heaven on earth fine let's create heaven on earth and what to do invoke or adore or glorify durga which is always and everywhere wherever we may be is seated in the most glorious aspect of our own being that is the absolute level of our own reality that's absolute level of our own reality infinite correlation value it's all emotion ocean of emotion it's all ocean of oneness
interplaying with itself, unboundedness, playing with its own unbounded reality. So this level of intelligence is to be brought to our comprehension and that for that we are so grateful to Gurudev. He gave us the transcendental meditation and very, very easily, very, very easily, at any time we want, we have that level available to us and from there we design, we desire, we post our, our, our card of demand and the supply will be instantaneous, supply will be instantaneous. It's a very, very fortunate time in the history of all, in the long, long history of all human race that this wisdom of invoking the infinite organizing power of nature's intelligence is available to us at hand, pray at hand. So the dignity of Dugga, the glory of Dugga, the unbounded and eternally available to anyone, eternally available to anyone, in any space-time dimension, in any space-time dimension, everyone has access to that thing. This is the practical utility of my Vedic science. In a very, very authentic way, laying out the entire Vedic literature as the literature of a perfect science and making it a living reality in everyone's life so that one would never get strained, one would always fulfill one's desire. I'm using the word always very purposefully and very intentionally. Always fulfillment of desire. Because that level of intelligence which we are advocating for every individual's awareness to communicate with is beyond space and time. And it's that value which is the basis of all space and time. That means at any time, in any place, that reality is, is always present, it's always present, it's always present. It's just a matter of channeling our desire from the gross level of space-time values to the finer levels till the boundaries vanish and the unbounded is fully awake. So yoga stha kuru karmani is the field of intelligence that is dugamba, yoga stha kuru karmani. His Vedic theme of action is not through stress and strain, no. It does not need any machinery to lift the desire or to bend the desire or to channel the desire. No machine is necessary. Whatever brain physiology is there is completely enough. Anyone who can think can command all the laws of nature. Anyone who can think can get on to that blessed field of Dugga, Paramba. Everyone who can think is blessed with all that is necessary to have this ability to command all the laws of nature through mere desiring. This is devotion to Dugga. This is devotion to Dugga the commander of all possibilities, the commander of all possibilities. And that commander, in the spirit of mother. The spirit of mother means 
always and always and indiscriminately always nourishing. Always nourishing, always nourishing. So with this field of knowledge and its organizing power, with this field of invincibility and complete self-sufficiency available to everyone in one's own transcendental consciousness, everyone can do anything and this we say, the grace of Paramba, the grace of Dugamba, the grace of that element in nature which is omnipresent, which is omniscient, which is omnipotent, capable of doing anything. The embodiment, the embodiment of all the laws of nature in that very holistic basis which is the character of the junction point of unmanifest and manifest, unmanifest and manifest. That means station at a place which commands all directions, which commands all possibilities. Dugamba beautifully adored by all the riches of the Vedas, by all the mantras of the Vedas, by all the shlokas of the Puranas and Smritis and Upanishads and Aranyakas and Brahmanas and Upavedas, all adored, all, everything is adoration to different qualities of Mahadugga quality of Mother Divine, quality of that infinitely correlated field of all possibilities, fully awake at all the time. All the Upavedas, all the Ayurved, Gandharved, Dhanurved, Sthapatived, all the impulses of the mantras of these different values of knowledge, they all are the different values of the organizing power of nature's intelligence, organizing power of nature's intelligence, for which the Brahman has expressed Prakritim Swam in my own Prakriti, in my own nature, which is like this. The, where is the creative process? How do I create the universe? I just arrive to my own prakriti, my own nature, and that nature is in the dynamic character, Dugamba. Prakritim swam in my own nature. I communicate. From that communication springs out the whole creation. Prakritim swam avashtabhi, visri jami puna puna. It's the same exemplification of the yoga star, Kuru Karmani. Be yourself and function. Accomplish anything, arrive at anything without doing anything. An enormously rich, understanding and perception of Dugamba, in which Saraswati is lively, Mahalakshmi is lively, all possibil possibility is lively, and she is adored as mother because of enriching nature, enrichment, pure enrichment, support, evolution, growth, 
This is the element what living in daily life and that life will be free from stress and strain and suffering. That is the kind of life we want to create in the world through this knowledge and through this technology. This is the glory of the Vedic science. My Vedic science is competent now for every single individual on earth to arrive at this enlightenment where all possibilities are open to him or to her. And this kind of education when we promote in the world, the world will be heaven. The light of human life will be the light of heaven. All life in the universe will be lived with that utter simplicity that all things will be available to everyone. And the nature of life is just that. Nature of life, no one wants to suffer. So real nature of life will become a living reality. Just because the nature of life is that level which never changes. <laughs> the nature of life is always nature of life. And what is the nature of life? Silence and dynamism and silence and dynamism and etern eternally, immortal. Immortal is the field of life. Unified field is the field of life. Dugamba is the reality of all dynamism in, in creation, whether it's the dynamism in the individual life or dynamism of cosmic life, but that is that one element which is always completely self-sufficient and invincible and has the competence of creating and promoting infinite order in the infinite diversity of the reality. So today it has been a very, very beautiful day for us to adore Mahaduga in our consciousness and we see how simple it is to live perfection in life. Now we see how simple it is to structure heaven on earth. And where will that be structured? It will be structured on the level of Dugamba. This will be life on earth. Completely fulfilled and always fulfilled. No problems, absolutely no suffering. What would prevail is what prevails on that level of reality. And what prevails on that level of reality? Infinity in a point. <laughs> all possibilities at any point, at any point of time, at any point of space, unboundedness, life full of all glories. Problems and sufferings are going to be a forgotten past of human race. With this knowledge, Heaven will be a reality in the life of all the people on earth. And all glory to Gurudev, who gave us this beautiful insight and wisdom into reality. And now we have used the knowledge well, the knowledge that Gurudev gave us, we have used it well. And now the goal of all knowledge, perfection in every field of life, heaven on earth, is going to be created on this ground of human understanding. Jai Gurudev.